Hey everyone, it's your frugal father here. Please uh, like and uh, subscribe to my page, I'd really appreciate it. Um, today I'm going to be doing something I really enjoy doing, and that is smoking uh, baby back ribs. So we're going to take a look at some of the stuff that you need before you start. I like to have everything already prepared, laid out, ready to go. Been soaking my chips, got my Lysol wipes, got my seasoning already done. If anyone has any questions about what kind of seasoning I do, just hit me up on there and I'll be happy to respond. Got to have your Reynolds wrap. And my favorite gloves of all time, um, which is a uh, Venom Steel. Venom Steel, really good for doing work around the house or even cooking. Um, I've already removed the film. So there's a membrane on the back of these and I already removed those. And uh, I might go back and have a, another lesson on that because it can be kind of a pain in the butt. Also want your grill ready to grow. So my grill is nice and clean, ready to go. I put a top layer of foil on there just in case anything leaks through. So um, we'll go ahead and get this prepped and then uh, get some smoking going on here. So let's get this bad boy prepped and ready to go. Um, like I said, I've already removed the membrane. So what we're going to want to do is give it a heavy dose of some seasoning. Um, you can make your own, you can buy your own in the stores. Um, and, um, you know, it's kind of fun to go off and make your own. I kind of enjoy doing some of that stuff, so uh, feel free to experiment. I always found out experimenting is uh, the best way to find what you like and what you're going to enjoy when it comes to making your ribs. So like I said, what you really want to do is rub this stuff in. And there's a reason for that. And that's going to come in the second part of making these ribs. And I do like to dry pat mine down. So as you can see, I do have a nice towel down there. And then at this point, we'll just do just the rest of this. Seasoning. Rub it into the meat really well. You really want every inch of it to have some nice seasoning to it. And then what we'll do next is we will remove. Paper towels. I'm gonna kind of be in my soaker. Any extra added seasonings can go on top. Throw that away. Throw your gloves away. And you got nice clean hands. And then move on to what I call making a boat. So you want to pull these in. Keep that in. And then I like to double it up. Now there's two reasons why I like to double it up. One, just in case I poke a hole through one layer, I won't lose all my juices. Second of all, I like to make these little, little part layers of air so that smoke can flow through it. Wrap that side nice and tight. Come over to the top, kind of seal it as much as possible. Wrap that side up nice and tight. And you're going to want to leave a little gap in here. A little gap in here, and I'm going to show you why after we get about an hour of this guy in. So I'm going to go prepare the fire, and then we'll start the grill. So I'm not sure what kind of shot you're getting here. Maybe I'll use my shadow and block some of the sun, but there's my chimney. Um, it's the only way to go. So we're going to get this guy started here. And then we will um, let these coals get nice and hot. And then uh, we'll be back. I do it in my fire pit. 
just as another safety it is pretty windy today so I might even put this lid on just to try to keep everything contained you know it's better to be safe than sorry folks so once these are all ready we'll put them on the grill and then we'll go from there stay tuned all right now that the coals are ready nice and gray I just dropped them in and I I do like to keep them uh, at a nice uh, the horizontal side as the ribs are, so I push the ribs all the way back. I have the coals out up in front, um, and then we're just gonna let it shut. Uh, we can control the temp by this knob. I don't want to let too much air in at the beginning, but I need to feed that fire a little bit. Um, try to get this up to about 225, 250 at the most, and we're gonna be looking at about four hours of cook time. But with ribs, I've learned um, it's definitely something that you go by ear with so we'll be checking these periodically and then some of the last things that I didn't mention as we uh, come to uh, starting to cook here um, I have my chips I have my water and then my secret ingredient after about an hour of cooking uh, maybe an hour and a half I will then add a can of soda and that's why I said that boat it's very important to have that boat because that soda is going to get trapped in there. And what happens is the sugars from the soda are going to really break down some of that tissue and some of that tougher meat. And it's really going to soften it up. So that'll be, uh, like I said, that'll be an hour from now. But right now we're going to go ahead and put uh, the water and uh, some of the chips in and get this kind of rolling here. And then we'll come back in about an hour or so and just make sure everything's looking good. Okay, like I said, what we're going to do is put the chips on there and the water and get that water boiling and leave some moisture in there to kind of keep this thing nice and moist too. So, there she is. I like to put my chips right up in here, right alongside the coals. Really kind of get that going well. And I'll leave my water up here to get it kind of boiling. And then I'm done. Right now we are at... Eh, 150 so uh, it take about another five minutes or so to get it up to the temp we're looking for and uh, when we come back we'll do a little bit of soda and then we'll wait for another three hours and then we'll be done uh, stay tuned thanks a lot all right everyone it's been about an hour so yeah, we're right about two yeah a little, not as high as I would have liked. Let's see if we can swim a little bit more here. I'm gonna add the soda down to it. do is we'll come back in about two well I'll probably have to do another um, I'll probably have to do another uh, round of coals I'll probably do anywhere from 14 to 15 coals uh, that'll give me a, a really good about an hour um, after this I got a feeling I've probably got another 45 minutes left on these guys Soon, those chips should start uh, catching on fire and start to smoke. And actually, you can't really tell, but they're starting to some start smoke starting to come out right now. And the key to it is, if it's white smoke, you're doing it right. If it's dark black smoke, um, something's wrong. So, uh, just kind of the. Uh, a word of the wise on that. I do, I have a little bit of 
white smoke coming out. I don't think the camera's going to pick it up though. But within time, it'll be pretty, it'll bellow out pretty hard. All right, folks. So we'll be back uh, to end this up for you. And uh, we'll go from there. All right. So I'm on hour two. I'm doing a new uh, chimney going on right now. That should be ready in a, in a little bit. Might need to give a little bit of help there. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to go over here and add my barbecue sauce so we'll go ahead and take a look in here yeah we got at least two more hours to go but what I'm going to do from here on out is leave this more vented more vented here um, so we're going to allow more of the smoke to come in and more of the heat to escape now I don't like to put a ton of barbecue sauce so what I'll do is I'll just squeeze of any of your favorite flavors that's a nice thing and then I will just kind of spread it around in there get a nice good glaze over everything and just to kind of give it that nice flavory glaze um, after uh, after you're done you can always add more so I'm gonna kind of do that so I'm gonna go and check on the um, coals and then we'll uh, be back in about two hours Hey everyone, we're back. So we're gonna see, it's been a little over four hours. Um, let's get a good look here, what we're looking at here. Oh yeah, I think we're looking pretty good here. Let's see for a sample here. Yeah, see how easily that comes off? Just real simple. That's when you know it's done. Um, we'll take a thermometer to it and do all that, but as of right now, I am pretty confident that we are good to go. So we're just going to wrap it up and put it in a towel. Let it sit for about half hour. So. So we kind of want to leave everything all nice and tight. Still a lot of juices in there. So it's going to still keep cooking. But we're gonna what we're gonna do here is just let it sit in this towel. Let it sit for I don't know 45, nah, about a half hour or so. So there you go guys. Thanks again. Please subscribe to my channel and uh, we'll talk to you soon.